arguably one of the state's best multi-sport athletes. When she graduated from Kamehameha Schools in 1984, this inductee took her talents to Manoa and was simply known by one name, Tita. She helped lead the Rainbow Wahine to three NCAA regional appearances and captain the 1987 National Championship squad. She finished her career as a two-time AVCA and USVBA All-American and was the first Wahine to reach the 1,000 kill, 1,000 dig plateau. This Honolulu native etched her name in the UH record book for career kills, attempts, aces, and digs. Following her playing career, she became a successful coach at the prep and collegiate levels and led Hawaii Pacific University to a pair of NCAA Division II titles. She is the only person in Hawaii volleyball history to win state high school and national collegiate titles as both a player and coach. Tonight, we honor one of Wahine Volleyball's all-time greats into the UH Sports Circle of Honor, Raiden Tita Ahuna. This inductee helped put the University of Hawaii diving program on the map. Standing a diminutive five feet four inches, this native of Zhou Zheng, China, went on to become the most decorated diver in school history. A five-time All-American and three-time honorable mention All-American, she captured the 2005 NCAA title in the one meter springboard and in the process broke the meet points record. She was a five-time WAC champion in both the one meter and three meter events and helped the Rainbow Wahine to their first WAC title in 2006. This two-time WAC Diver of the Year held UH and WAC three meter records while excelling in the classroom, having earned academic All-American and WAC Scholar Athlete honors. Tonight, we honor this diving queen into the UH Sports Circle of Honor, Aji Huang. During an eight-year period in the 1980s, this pair of brothers from Farrington High School in Honolulu wreaked havoc on UH's opponents. The number 54 jersey became symbolic of the Rainbow Warriors' aggressive and hard-hitting style of defense. Nico was a four-time All-WAC and two-time AP Honorable Mention All-American, the 1980 WAC Newcomer of the Year, and was named to Blue Chip All-America freshman and sophomore teams. He set single season and career records for tackles for loss and went on to play eight seasons in the NFL with the Phoenix Cardinals and Detroit Lions. Nicknamed the Samoan Sackman, Al became the school's first AP First Team All-American in 1986 and was trumpeted as the school's first Heisman Trophy candidate. He was a three-time First Team All-WAC lineman and Outland Trophy finalist who played seven years in the NFL, most notably with the Minnesota Vikings. He was later named among Sports Illustrated's 50 Greatest Hawaii Sports Figures. Tonight, we honor these monsters of the gridiron into the UH Sports Circle of Honor. Follow Nico and Alapati Noga. Considered the number one recruit in the country out of Bishop Garcia Diego High School in 1978, this inductee was the first blue chip mainland recruit for Dave Shoji and the Rainbow Wahine Volleyball Program. Her signing opened the doors for other top recruits, helping UH become a volleyball powerhouse. She was a four-year starter at Middle Blocker and led the Wahine to the AIAW National Championship in 1979. She was a three-time All-American and the 1980 Broderick Award winner as the nation's top collegiate volleyball player. After spending two seasons as a graduate assistant for UH's back-to-back -back NCAA championship teams of 1982 and 83, she went on to compete for the U.S. national team and was later inducted into the Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable Hall of Fame in 1993. Tonight, we honor the this volleyball pioneer into the UH Sports Circle of Honor, Diane Sebastian. 
Nicknamed the Roses, this duo was the most dominant tennis doubles team at UH and in the state of Hawaii in the 1980s. In fact, they went unbeaten in local women's tournaments for nearly a decade. The four-year co-captains played number one doubles their entire careers for Jim Schwitter's nationally ranked Rainbow Wahine and compiled a 138-14 collegiate record with 12 tournament victories and a 50-match win streak. Their most impressive feat may have come at the 1982 Sugar Bowl, where they won the doubles title, while Rosie also captured the singles crown and Rose reached the singles semifinals. They rank numbers one and two in the school's career singles victory list. Rose with 125 and Rosie with 105. Rose went on to win the 1984 Jack Bonham Award and they both were included in Hawaii Tennis News Top 10 Hawaii Players of the Century. Tonight, we honor this dynamic duo into the UH Sports Circle of Honor, Rose Thomas and Rosie Veracruz.